Phew, that was pretty intense. You've managed to successfully navigate through the treacherous boulder field, and I'm quite relieved to see that you've reached the settlement. Yes, I am. Whew. Okay, uh, this looks amazing. Let's get it back to normal speed, because I, I did just just about successfully manage to get through that uh, arcade sequence by setting the, um, setting the cycles quite low for the game. So let's get it back to normal. After a truly stone-crushing journey, nicely, nicely done, game, you have miraculously arrived safely in Eulent's Flats. See last episode for commentary on that joke. And just in time too, because the skimmer's power cell has been drained. It will take some time to recharge itself. This place isn't quite what you have expect had expected. It is semi-bleak at best. Right, uh, first thing to do is save, I think. I think that's probably a... A good bet, isn't it? Lovely. Welcome back to Let's Play Space Quest 1, the Sarian Encounter. Uh, this, this is exciting. I do vaguely remember this kind of Star Wars riffing cantina-like area. I've got some, some memories of this. I'm immediately enjoying the graphics. Um, Great use of those chunky pixels. Now, um, in getting back in the skimmer and trying that that dreaded arcade sequence again, I did notice that we can um, take the key from the skimmer. So let's get that in case somebody wants to pinch our ride. Um, we can probably exit the skimmer. We can. Cool. Look, I like these alien people walking around. Are they going to interact? Oh, say. This is a genuine Fulton Sand Skimmer. I've been looking for one just like it. I wonder if you would accept 30 Buckazoids. Uh, yes. Glad we could do business. I'll just take that key. Thank you kindly. Hope your stay in Newlands Flats is an interesting one. Okay. Well, I, I, I don't know if that was good, but we did it. Look, Flats. Does that work? Yeah. You're at the south edge of Eulent's Flats. The area is protected from predators by an electronic barrier which runs around the perimeter of the settlement. That's probably uh, probably wise given the creatures we have already encountered. Interesting. Well, let's look at the bar. There's a small rounded structure here with a door on one side. It's typical of some of the prefab structures used in frontier areas years ago. There's, there's world building going on. Uh, look, spaceship. There are there are a couple of other crafts here which might belong to the beings inside this building. Cool. Well, let's let's have a look around. Ah, oh, I do remember this 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 area. Are you going to come and talk to us, Tiny? I like these proactive characters. This is good. Howdy, bucko. Can I interest you in one of these, one of the finest little used spaceships in the galaxy? You look like a man of discerning taste. Well, this is quite a unique little unit. Never been flown over Mach 3. It was owned by a little old lady from Glanzadram. You have to fly it to believe it. And she can be yours for only 99 buckazoids. Um... Hi, Tiny. Let's look at Tiny. What could be said that isn't seen? Tiny's a large, red-skinned, red-skin-covered beast with the personality of a true salesman, not a prime combination of traits. Oh. Um, talk, Tiny. Tiny's not a great conversationist. He just wants to sell, sell, sell. All right, well, let's... I, now, I've got certain recollections about this particular little... Unit. Tiny's flying us around, this is cool. Uh, let's look at this ship. You're standing near one of Tiny's U spacecraft. Upon close inspection, they appear to have quite a few kilometers on them. You're gonna f yeah? Uh, this is very cool. I, um, I like this. I like this detail. Don't let appearances fool you. This baby may be a relic, I mean, a classic, but she's as dependable as the day we got her. And just think, you'll be the only one in the quadrant with one. I guarantee it. She's a she's a beaut, isn't she? 
This little baby can do a spin around the planet in just under an hour. Look at the lines in that bodywork. They just don't make them like this anymore. You know what I mean? And she's a real bargain at 185 Bookazoids. Okay. Um, that's more expensive. Uh, do you have anything cheaper? Tiny. So the other one was sort of within reach, wasn't it? I think. 50 something? What's this one again, Tiny? Uh, oh, it was, no, oh, it was 99, okay. Right, uh, well, we need more. We need more Buckazoids. You're standing against, oh, are you standing against the protective barrier encircling Ulan's flats? Due to the fact that you are land-based, you are not able to pass. Okay, Tiny. Hi. Hi. Okay, so that, the barrier's on the left-hand side as well. I think this is a relatively modest area. Amazing contrast between the light magenta of the sky and the uh, the dark pink and green bunting. That's rather nice. Ah, now this might be handy. Tell me about this one, Tiny. Well, there's a man with a good eye. This here is the keenest little scrambler in the hemisphere. Top of the line. Handles like a charm. Perfect for cruising the asteroid field. Oh no, don't say there's asteroid fields. And she's got all the thrust a guy could need. I tell you, she's an outright stealer. 214 buckazoids. Okay. Well, we had, there's certainly the illusion of choice. Climb ladder. We have a motto. You don't own it, you don't mess with it. You don't die. Okay, thanks, Tiny. Uh, what's up north? Oh, that's pretty very good. Okay. So can I go, can I go right here? Can I go, oh, I can. Oh, this screen uh, rings the bell. I feel like I've been in this screen before. It looks like a typical desert dwelling. Hmm, it's got a big hole in it. So what happens if we go, oh, droids be us. Excellent. I think we might even pick up a droid in this game, if I am remembering. And I think it was uh, uh, Droids R Us in the original release before um, Toys R Us threatened legal action. Right, there's bar barriers there as well. Alright, let's go into Droids V Us. See what the deal is here. I'm enjoying this little shopping, shopping trip. This is fun. Welcome to Droids Be Us, the finest emporium for mechanised beings in the quadrant. We have a complete line of droids for any purpose imaginable. Well, almost any. All top of the line, but I suppose you would probably be interested in our sale items. Please walk this way. I want the transformer in the middle. Okay, I'm not controlling um the character. Or am I controlling? Oh, I, was con <laughs> I thought they were moving on their own. But no, we did have, we had control of our of our character. Okay, well, what's going on in the, uh, the sale? That model is ideal for flight systems operations. It will pilot any modern fighter or cruiser, and it is one of the most experienced droids we carry. I ask only 45 buckazoids for it, 36 with coupon. I got it from some gambling type who was required to pay up or perish. Okay, well, that sounds uh, potentially affordable. Look, alien? Look, salesman? The salesman is a strangely built being. He looks like the... He might tip forward any minute. Well, don't tip forward. That unit is a good all-around droid. Sure, it may seem a little dinged up, but it's not as bad as it looks. There is still quite a bit of life left in it. It is a great little companion, and for you, and for you only 40 buckazoids, 32 with coupon. Mm, I feel like I need to find a coupon somewhere. All right, well, that, those are probably within our price bracket. Again, loving the strategic use of um, contrasting colours here. 
it's very very nice laid out for a low resolution area that one is a collector's item one of the very first droids ever built someday that rare piece is going to bring me a small fortune at auction it's not for sale we call that one the peacemaker it's used primarily in security in a crime situation it is capable of apprehending trying sentencing and punishing the offender on the spot swift and effective and only 368 buckazoids, 294 with coupon. Well, I can only hope to get a coupon then. That compact unit is often used for mining. It is short and stocky, and quite strong for its size. It is designed to work in areas which may be hazardous to non-mechanised beings. 325 buckazoids for years of service, 294 with coupon. Okay. Oh, uh, that's, uh, yeah, that, thanks. All right, well, we can't go to the east, so, oh, let's have a look, what's down here? What is this look pile? There is a strange pile of very fine white powder here. Its origin puzzles you. It is, it has a strange burnt smell to it. Hmm, uh, can I get some powder? Extremely fine dust seeps between your fingers. There's no need for it anyway, especially considering its origin. Yes, I, I thought it might be something sinister. Look, hole. Are you sure you want to look at that? Look, window. Okay, look, building. This is the back of the bar at the southeast end of Ulent's Flats. Oh, you know what? I should be looking at the visual clues of the... Um, the little pylons, because that's going to be the electronic barrier, isn't it? I wonder if we can read the graffiti. Uh, I don't know if I spelled graffiti right. Uh, I get confused about how many no, it's not like that. It doesn't look right. Uh, writing? Well, it appears to be in Sarian. You're a little rusty in your Sarian, but it appears to say it's seen on bites. Okay. Alright, well, there's not much for it other than to go in the bar then, is there? Alright, let's save the game here. It seems like that might be a, a wise idea. Um, bar none. Oh, none. There we go. Okay. So, let's see what we have going on in the bar. It's rocking in here. Okay, let's see. Oh, the music is playing while the messages come up. Interesting. Some of the stranger galactic riffraff are seated at the bar. The bartender drops by occasionally to serve them. There seems to be a vacant spot at the right end of the bar. Um, look, band? There is a hip combo of green beings jamming. They only seem to be interested in playing music. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Do you see what just happened to that person who was playing the arcade machine? Patron? No one here seems willing to acknowledge your presence. Maybe they're not too fond of humanoids. Okay. Um, look, machine. Okay. Oh. Oh, okay. F4 bets one buckazoid. F10 quits. F6 bets two buckazoids. And F8 bets three buckazoids. Ooh. Uh, so. Okay. Uh, I seem to remember this is this is the thing. Right. Well, let's let's not let's not do this right now. Oh, it's the Blues Brothers now. Okay, that's fun. Um, go to the 
bum will talk to me. Yeah. Wanna be? I got beer and it's two buckazoids. Talk to the one. Oh. Talk. Patrons. Wiley B. I got beer. There's two buckets of this. Patrons. The, you've never seen the likes of the patrons seated at the bar. They look fairly absorbed in their drinks. Oh, maybe uh, bar is barman two words? It's not computer. Talk. Talk man? Uh, buy beer? I'm just trying to type buy beer. There'll be two buckets always, thank you very much. Come again. Uh, look, beer. This is a vessel of that acrid yet buoyant Coronian ale. Okay, I've got a beer. Um. Okay, well, I'm... Right, so I'm gonna... Oh, let's have a look at the bot. What does the bot do? Bot over here in the corner. Uh, look... Droid, I think it will accept. The sweeper is a small motorised device which scans the floor for debris and removes it within moments of detection. There's nothing special about it otherwise. Very nice. Very, um... Very prescient of the game. Alright, well, I think the only other thing I can do in the bar is a uh, usually death gambling machine, which we will, I suspect, have to do shortly. I don't know if there's anything else to do. So we've sold the. I think selling the speeder was, was a good move. Um, I think we need to gamble, don't we? Uh, so we're definitely going to be saving and reloading for that. Okay. Talk to Patron. Right. Oh, well they got this in the base, so let's have a go now. I don't know. Okay, I'll wait for, I'll wait for the previous uh, person to be set up. There we go. Okay. Now I want to have a go. Yeah. Can you save? Oh, you can save right here. Let's see that. Um, gambling. Right, so we've got, uh, oh, okay, Buckazoids, what if I look, uh, Buckazoids? Uh, the Buckazoid is a flat piece of a precious alien metal. You have 28 of them. Cool. Um, all right, so F4 bets one, F6 bets two. So if I'm going to be... So I guess, yeah, those three combinations do something. Right, well let's, yeah, let's just try the the three Buckers Oid Bombers, we might as well. Jerry, Jerry. You win nine. Okay, well that was better than not winning. Lovely. Um, can I save right now. Thanks. Uh, let's bet again. Right, I've got one diamond, an eyeball, and a diamond. You lose. You have 31. Well, let's load. I don't know if that did that work, or do I have to cash out? Let's see. 
Oh no, that did work. That did work. Excellent. Not a chance. Okay. Both load again? F7, okay. Nope. Uh, we got a cherry. Let's save it. Uh, bit again. Oh, tough luck. It's hopeless. Eat sand. Not a chance. So sorry. <gasps> Two cherries. We've got 40 buckazoids. Let's save that. Suck me, Thane. <laughs> okay, we got a little bit more there. Let's save that. <gasps> Two cherries again. Luck is on our side. We haven't died once. I got eyeballs! I mean, 30, 30 Barkazoids. Excellent. I love that animation. <gasps> Ooh, three cherries. Okay. Well, that'll help. Three cherries again. I'll take it. Yes, death. You lose, homeboy. <gasps> CZ Top. What a way to go. Luck's turn has cost you dearly. As life seems to wear, you long for the simpler days aboard the Arcada. <laughs> I imagined it was more instantaneous than that. But there we go. Okay, that was good to see <laughs> what happens uh, in that instance. Whoa, we won 60 Bogazoids. That's very good. Sorry, this needs to be a circuit failure. To be reimbursed, send claim to Gifosoid Naughties 2001 Odessa Blastway Gurnville Fedor Exel Galaxy. Please allow two decades for delivery. So I think 250 Buckazoids may be my limit. Um, good, let's save that. See there, pal. It's come to my attention that you're in the market for some transportation. I may be able to help if you'll follow me. I'd like to show you a fine old piece of machinery that'll knock your eyes out. Yeah, sure, this sounds fine. Let's do this. Nothing bad ever happened to me at the back of a bar. Hold it right there, pal. This is a stick-up. I'll just believe you of your cash. Thanks for, thank you very much. 250 buckazoids, I guess it's better than nothing. Here, keep fire for yourself. I gotta admit, you look like you need it. Well, you've gotta be leaving now. <laughs> Go straight back the way you came in. Deviate from that path and you're Grell Kibble. Oh, yeah, you really are Grell Kibble. The mugger impresses upon you that he was quite serious. Thank you for playing Space Quest. <laughs> okay. We'll load up, but we'll do that next episode. See you then. Take care. Bye bye.